Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the heart of the Philippine Army's ground forces to highlight its most powerful military vehicles. From armored personnel carriers to advanced artillery, these machines form the backbone of the Philippine Army's capabilities. Let's look at the top 10 most powerful vehicles driving the nation's defense forward. But before we continue, and you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are always updated on Philippine military news and events. Number 10. Elbit Joint Assault Bridge The Elbit Joint Assault Bridge JAB, in the Philippine Army serves as a vital tool for crossing challenging terrain, such as rivers and ravines, to enhance the mobility of ground forces. This bridging system, mounted on a highly mobile and armored platform, allows the Army to quickly deploy a bridge that can support heavy vehicles like tanks and other armored units, essential for advancing in combat or disaster response scenarios. By adding the jab, the Philippine Army can maneuver across natural obstacles more effectively, keeping pace with modern mechanized operations and ensuring troops can maintain momentum in diverse environments. Number 9. GKN Simba the GKN Simba Infantry Fighting Vehicle is a 4x4 IFV, T-armored vehicle in the Philippine Army, originally designed by British company GKN Sankey and locally produced under license in the Philippines. The Simba is primarily used for troop transport, with seating for up to 10 soldiers, and is equipped with armor that provides protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. Typically armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, some variants also feature grenade launchers or additional weaponry for enhanced fire support. It is used in multiple roles, including patrol, reconnaissance, and internal security, demonstrating its adaptability in various operational environments. Number 8. Cadillac Gauge Commando the Cadillac Gauge Commando, also known as the V-150, is a light-armored vehicle used by the Philippine Army for reconnaissance, patrol, and internal security missions. Originally developed by the U.S.-based Cadillac Gauge Company, the V-150 has been a reliable asset in the Army's arsenal for decades. Typically equipped with a 12.7mm 50 caliber heavy machine gun or a 20mm cannon, providing both anti-personnel and light anti-armor capabilities. The V-150 is available in multiple configurations for different roles such as command, ambulance, and mortar carrier, offering flexibility in various missions. Number 7. FNS ACV-15 The FNSS ACV-15 is an armored infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, used by the Philippine Army to support mechanized infantry operations. Developed by the Turkish defense company FNSS, it enhances the Army's mobility and firepower, allowing troops to advance safely in high-risk environments. Equipped with a 25mm autocannon and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, providing effective firepower against both infantry and light armor threats. Can transport a squad of soldiers with protection against small arms fire and shell splinters. The FNSS ACV-15 offers the Philippine Army a powerful tool for offensive and defensive operations, giving troops both fire support and protected mobility on the battlefield. Number 6. The M113 Fire Support Vehicle FSV The M113 Fire Support Vehicle FSV in the Philippine Army is a modified version of the classic M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, enhanced to provide direct fire support to infantry units. This variant is equipped with heavier firepower to support ground troops and improve the Army's armored capabilities. Typically armed with a 76mm or 90mm cannon turret, providing firepower against both fortified positions and light armored vehicles. The M113's tracked mobility, allowing it to maneuver effectively across various terrains. Used for fire support, anti-armor roles, and direct engagement, making it a flexible asset for different combat scenarios. Number 5. FMC M113 IFV The FMC M113 Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, in the Philippine Army is an upgraded version of the traditional M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, enhanced to provide both troop transport and direct combat support capabilities. As an IFV, it not only transports soldiers safely, but also offers substantial firepower to engage enemy forces. 
the FMC M113 Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, in the Philippine Army is an upgraded version of the traditional M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, enhanced to provide both troop transport and direct combat support capabilities. Number 4. Iveco Guarani 6x6 APC the Iveco Gorani is a modern 6x6 armored personnel carrier APC recently acquired by the Philippine Army to strengthen its mechanized and quick response capabilities. Originally developed by Iveco for the Brazilian military, the Gorani provides improved protection, mobility, and versatility for various operations. Typically equipped with a remote-controlled weapon station, often mounting a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or 40mm grenade launcher. Its 6x6 wheeled configuration allows it to navigate a variety of terrains with agility, making it ideal for both urban and rural missions. Number 3. Soltam Kardam The Soltam Kardam is an advanced, self-propelled mortar system used by the Philippine Army, providing crucial indirect fire support for infantry units. Mounted on vehicles like the M113 Armored Mortar Carrier, the Kardam system offers rapid deployment and high accuracy, enhancing the Army's artillery capabilities. Available in 81mm and 120mm configurations, giving flexibility in range and firepower depending on operational needs. The Kardam is equipped with a computerized fire control system for quick, accurate targeting, which allows for rapid setup and precise fire missions. Number 2. Sabre Lit Tank The Sabre Light Tank is a modern armored vehicle recently acquired by the Philippine Army to bolster its armored capabilities with a versatile, mobile platform suited for diverse terrains. Developed by Elbit Systems, the Sabra offers a balance of firepower, protection, and agility, ideal for supporting infantry and conducting armored reconnaissance. Equipped with a 105mm cannon, providing significant firepower to engage both enemy vehicles and fortified positions. Built on a tracked or wheeled platform depending on configuration, it offers flexibility for operations in rough terrain and rapid deployment. And lastly, the top on our list. Number 1. The Atmos 2000. The Atmos 2000 is a self-propelled howitzer system used by the Philippine Army to enhance its long-range artillery capabilities. Developed by Israel's Elbit Systems, the Atmos 2000 provides powerful mobile fire support with high accuracy and rapid deployment, making it a valuable asset for both conventional and counterinsurgency operations. Armed with a 155mm howitzer, capable of delivering powerful strikes on targets up to 40 kilometers away. Mounted on a truck chassis, the Atmos 2000 significantly boosts the Philippine Army's ability to conduct effective long-range bombardments, offering a blend of mobility, firepower, and precision ideal for modern battlefield conditions. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to learn more about the powerful equipment of the armed forces of the Philippines, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay tuned and stay informed.